Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really towards the final episode of our dating stories. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Katie's with their hand holding. Which is. Aww. Yeah, how are you going to bring them out together? Oh, the parent trap. Yeah, the parent trap. <laughs> yes, the the number one buzz. Well, no, the second best Lindsay Lohan movie because number one is like Mean Girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta be a part of this. What?
Oh my god! Nicole. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Be calm, cool, and collected. Just be yourself. Look at the kid pointing at him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Aww. So cute, though. Alright, it's Christmas. Damn. Oh, no.
little sad. Okay. Don't want to be by myself. She's literally me because I feel the same way and stuff, especially because the fact is, like, my parents aren't together anymore and my dad is already remarried and such. I look at his new wife as that woman. See, the smart thing is you don't take advantage of her in this moment. There you go. You respect your girlfriend. You just stay the night with her. You don't do anything. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no. Mm hmm. Medicine. No. Bye. That was so fucking sweet. Oh. The crisis is gonna still. Oh. Yeah, try one more time. You got this. Uh, don't be scared. You got this. Just don't tell her. It's kind of weird. She might kick your ass. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, her boots, though. Oh. Not there. Man. She went to every. <laughs>
What else did you want her to do? Uh huh. Oh, you got him something. That's so sweet. Exams. <laughs> no, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Real, true love. Oh, my God.
by this was such a damn good series oh my god like I, I love the fact is at first like yeah it started out where it's like oh um yeah they're gonna have sex in the first episode but in the end it's just they date and it's just super cute and wholesome and everything like oh my god but I would love to see more with this show especially with like Nicole and the other girl who all are also dating someone themselves well not the other girl you know she she's so into her you know k-pop and everything that you know because we love some k-pop men and such we find someone who is very like similar to one of the k-pop singers that we're obsessed with or act like and such like for me i feel like if there is a guy whose voice matches with a say that i am in love with like bro i date him in a heartbeat and you don't even have to like say something in japanese if you just have a really good deep raspy voice i am smitten like i i can't like that's a weakness a freaking weakness for me but this was like i said it was really cute and wholesome i mean when you see the typical like a gato show um i don't like the way i said show that was so weird <laughs> um a gato show typically it is nothing but fan service and such and this was the first one i think in a long time where it was different and it was cute though that's so cute oh my god like okay yes it does get feels to like my other favorite gato show my dress up darling and such um but there there is difference like okay dress up darling clearly had a lot of fan service this had fan service in it too um which of course i digress when there's fan service is fan service even though i am not the target demographic audience um it still is okay to see but it doesn't phase me i'm like oh, okay but I, I mean, I will also say there is another sort of fan service. I think it's with, for me, it's the fashion and such and seeing so many different outfits every single freaking week. And that's what I really, truly love about any type of Gato show. And it does make me excited for the next Gato show that is coming out in January. But then I'm a little hesitant because I'm like, is it going to be like this? Or is it going to be the traditional fan service as well? Which it is probably, it's seeming like it is going to be. But I think I'm still going to watch it regardless just to see how interesting it is. But I don't think I will compare it initially to this show. This show was a like very much romance-esque show with a Garu featuring a little bit of fan service. So it's not like My First Girlfriend is a Gal where that was heavily fan servicey and you could tell it was heavily fan servicey because of ish how there was two versions of the like the show that was airing so the censored and the non-censored versions so we all know what the fuck was going on and what it was duh but yeah this was just really wholesome and adorable i love the fact that like we had a couple where yes he he does it as like a little first like almost like a joke in a way but then he's like really serious because he does have a crush on her and everything and you would think that because he is what he is and how he is he's a nerd and she's this popular girl that it doesn't work out but in the end love prevailed and it really did work out and i love the fact that you know we got to see um that it wasn't just sex between these two because typically you think that with any mm, more like modern desk series or like anything else like typically it is always just sex and that we we see more of the sexual chemistry and stuff but we don't get to see the other type of chemistry that the two have and i love how we kind of got the mixture of both where it's like 
they're they're taking it slow it's not too fast and everything that they're really taking their time i do also love that we got to see a moment where these two really it wasn't really a fight but it was almost to lead into a moment where they almost were going to break up and she comes in and says like i i want to break up and stuff and sh and you know ruto comes ruta shit um, he comes in and being like, no, I don't want to break up. Like, I really, truly want to be with you because yeah, like, you know, she's like the million dollar ask, like everything. She is like, she's, she's like a diamond and you only get those once in a blue moon and such, you know, you got all these cubic zirconias and you want that diamond. And when you have it and it's next, you know, it loses its luster and its shine and everything. And that moment was when they were so close to breaking up. But, you know, there was a moment where I, I never, I didn't say it, but I thought it, I was like, you never know what, what you have until it's gone. And in those moments when he when he was about to lose her i was like oh shit like are we about to end this show where we go into like an episode or two or three with them breaking up but it was still like at the same time if i really would have wanted them to break up for like a moment and then just wait like a couple of minutes like 5 10 15 minutes into the episode and then get them back together but we've kind of seen other moments like where Okay, the beach episodes where he gets super jealous um, and they have an argument and then you see pictures of her with her uncle on the beach and he's like, oh, hold up. Like, who the hell is this? And he books it to the beach. And that also tells you how much that he really truly cares about her and such. It also tells him that he's not really trustworthy of her because it's like because of who she is and stuff. And typical any pretty girls and such will literally flirt with every other guy i i will speak like this let me say like this um us as girls yes we flirt a lot we really do it's it's to a point where sometimes we don't realize we're flirting like i i flirt a lot i know i damn well flirt a lot with like guys that are really attractive or guys that i deem attractive to myself like i will literally flirt with a guy and not know that i'm flirting i mean hell i did that shit in high school but um, my guy friends could tell when I was flirting and such. My thing is, if I'm really interested and in, into our conversation and things that you are into, like, that's not me. Like, it, it may initially think to someone else, like, yeah, that's initially me flirting with you. But then at the same time, that's also me getting to know you because I want to know everything about you. I want to know your interests, your hopes, your dreams and everything else, what things you're not into and stuff, because if we were to date, then I know what to do and what not to do and stuff. And I have to treat you in a way that you want to be treated and not to bring in like my baggage of a previous relationship. Don't do that, by the way, people. Um, don't ever bring in baggage from a previous relationship. Uh, you always take the things that were wrong, right and wrong about that relationship and you take it on to the next person, but you never really want to talk about your previous exes. If you do, you do a one and done and then that's it and then you move on, but you never compare your current boyfriend or girlfriend to your previous boyfriend or girlfriend. You never freaking do that. Always know that they are completely different to someone else. Never compare. But this was really good. It, like I said, it's sweet, wholesome, adorable as fuck. I really would love to see more of this if it's not a second season because it clearly leaves on a lot of unanswered questions and a potential second season if they really wanted to. I think maybe for this company, this was possibly like a popular show and stuff because it did get some like mm, talks and hype and stuff on it and stuff. But it was pretty much, I felt like there was a lot of underrated shows from this season because... Out of a lot of shows that aired, like, some things were good, some things were bad, some things were really misses. We'll talk about the one show that I'm reacting to when I make a video on it soon. Um, but still, this this was a really interesting season for a lot of these shows. I, like I said, I, I would love to get a second season. I think, hell, I would even read the light novel of this whenever I do have free time, because right now I don't have free time of reading. Because I am currently reading a series, I'm still on book freaking one, and I'm halfway done with the damn book, but I've been so freaking busy with everything else that I have not had time to read, and I would like to read, for Christ's sake, because I love reading. I am I, I'm a book nerd and stuff, and I love to read books and stuff. Hell, I could read books for hours if I wanted to, really, because I can get lost in a book for hours and shit. But, I mean... Seriously, 
I, I would totally love to see more with these two. They're a really good couple, and I would love to see more first with them and such. It would just be nice, really, because this is, when I look at these two and I look at so many other couples that I have fallen in love with in anime in general, like, they're, they're in that top, like, top 20, because they're just so wholesome. So, give me my freaking second season, god dang it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of our dating story. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the National Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all, um... Well, next Friday for the next episode of Undead Unlock, and then eventually in January for the start of Winter Anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!